Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a, a reading for Gemini for the week ahead. This is for the week of July 6th through the 12th. This is going to be a you and the other person spread. I did one already, but it got messed up, so I'm going to do it over. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get started. It looks to me as though you are bursting somebody's bubble. But let's see what these cards have to say for Gemini for the week of July 6th through the 12th between them and another person. What I'd like you to do is think about one person. It doesn't have to be a lover. It can be anybody. But there's one person you have questions about. What are they up to? What are they, What's going on with this person? That's what I want you to think. Who, picture this person in your head. What is going on with this person? You and the other person. So what do we got for Gemini? What's going on with the person that they are thinking about? Now this is the overall energy. We have the King of Swords in reversed. So the King of Swords in reversed. This is the overall energy, the connection or the resolution. Lack of communication. Stopping communication. Somebody's not being honest here. Somebody may, may have made you upset or you made them upset. This is... Um, mentally mentally abusive perhaps you may be dealing with somebody that is mentally abusive or there's some sort of coldness here uh withdrawn not communicating well not on the same page whoever you're dealing with king of swords in reverse you can be, somebody could be upset okay there's also a lack of clarity now this is your side this is theirs so we have the this is looks like the King of Pentacles reversed. The Knight of Wands reversed. Now this is your energy over here. Not taking any action to oh we got two. So we have the death and we have the seven of wands reversed. So you're giving up. You have given up on something. Or it's the end. Okay, this is a this is a change. It's the end. It's a transformation. I've changed my mind. It's over. This is cutting something out. That's the what's that uh, uh scythe? Um I'm not sure I didn't say that per correctly. My mind is freaking blank. Anyhow, this is giving up. This is letting go. Um stepping down. It's the end. Okay, it's the end. Um, you know, there could be some there could have been a fight, there could have been an argument that caused an ending, okay? This is a fall from power, okay? So somebody is losing their power over you. It looks like you've cut, you're cutting them out. You're not giving them anything. You're not wanting to be involved. Now, this is a sudden departure. It's like, and it's a sudden ending. So I think there's something, maybe there was an argument or something, or there's just an imbalance of some sort. There's nothing of value here. You don't have anything to give to this person. It's like, you know, I'm not giving you anything. They may be after you for your money or your stability or whatever. And you're like, no, no, no. That's what I feel like this is. So let's talk about the other person that you're thinking about. We have the Nine of Pentacles. The Star card. And the Five of Pentacles. We have somebody here that's very upset. Okay, this person is upset. They may feel abandoned. They may be having some set of headaches. This person is angry. They're angry. Um, that you're not giving them anything, okay? It looks to me like uh, they're hoping and wishing that uh, you would give them a chance, but I don't think you're going to. This is independent. This person, I don't feel like th this person sees themselves as a victim. They have a victim mentality. They may have been begging for some sort of attention in a negative manner. Um, I think that you have left this person on their own. I think it's a very challenging individual that you were dealing with. I feel like they they have been... Um, this is the moon, not the star. So you may be... And I don't know why I thought it was the star. I wasn't even looking at the number. I didn't even... I just thought it was the star. This is the moon. You're dealing... You may be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Cancer. There's deception here. There's, there's deception and I think that there's been a release and this happened right probably right around the full moon there's been some sort of release um, there's been this person may be presenting themselves to be somebody that they not that they aren't the moon is ruled by the shadow 
and you may have seen that you may have seen that you you it, it feels like there's some sort of release of of being controlled by whoever this person is and I think it happened very suddenly um, a sudden departure now that let's, let's clarify over on their side with that nine of pentacles that is somebody going their own way becoming independent you're on your own you need to build up your stability this person needs to build up their own stability but they may have some sort of addictions okay because the moon is addictions it's and it's also um illusion so this person may be in some sort of illusionary state okay they may see you as somebody that can provide them some sort of stability and they're probably upset i definitely do see an upset that the overall energy between the bo both of you is the king of swords reversed there's definitely probably some anger here okay um, maybe this person, there's unfair treatment, there's abuse. This person is only out to harm you. And maybe, maybe you sense that this person doesn't have good intentions. Um, two of swords reversed. Now somebody has made a decision. The decision has been made. You can't ignore the truth. This person has been not telling the truth. They've been pretending to be somebody that they are not. And you may see the truth. You, have, they, The truth comes out. The truth was shown. The, you know, their true colors came out. Um, ah, devil reversed. So breaking free. There's freedom from this individual. There is. There's definitely some sort of addictions here with the moon and the... The devil they're both ruled by the shadow as well so the shadow has has diminished in the in some, the light has been seen this person's true colors have been seen okay so i feel like you are breaking free from this individual and this 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 individual whoever you're dealing with um is very forceful they're very forceful they're very self-indulgent they may be they could be even mentally ill they are obsessed they have some sort of and they may be very materialistic whoever you're dealing with and they definitely see themselves as a victim they do they have a victim mentality um very unhealthy behavior here and i think it was shown to you i think it was shown to you can't you can't ignore the signs okay you can't ignore the signs and i think this person is upset upset that you have turned your back on them and you just want to go your own way you don't want to be a part of this this unhealthy behavior you don't want to live in illusion you're not you don't want to you see it clearly you don't want to you don't want to be tied to a fantasy or an illusion so I feel like you are breaking free from this individual and they're not happy about it they're they're feeling neglected they're feeling abandoned I think that whoever you're dealing with is experiencing some some hard times Okay, they may be experiencing some financial burdens. They may be a social outcast. Maybe they're dealing with some consequences of their actions. They're very much struggling. And they're struggling because they have some sort of addictions. They do have some sort of addictions. And they pretend a lot. This person is the great pretender. Okay, with the devil and the moon. We have, we have a big pretender over here. And I think that you... You know, you can't ignore it. You can't ignore the signs. And I think that you've received some sort of signs or red flags. And therefore, you know, with this with this Knight of Wands reversed, I feel like maybe you moved into this too fast. You maybe moved in, because this is moving way too fast. You probably, you know, took a chance, took a risk, and moved into it way too fast. And you're seeing that this is not stable. You know, it's not stable. It's not secure. You know, you're not going to, you don't, you're not going to give it all. You know what I mean? This, this King of Pentacles reverse is like somebody that is a hard worker that is really focused on their money, but doesn't have a lot to give or doesn't want to give. Um, the King of Pentacles um, sometimes makes poor decisions, you know, because of, um, well, the King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that uh, does make poor financial decisions. You may have invested some money in this person and uh, now you want to take it back. You know, I think that you made a, a poor decision. Okay, this is a poor decision. It is. This has moved too fast. But this is cutting somebody out. You have made a decision. And this is a final decision. Death is final. It's final. You've made a final decision to not give. You're not going to take action and give to this person. Let's get another card for you. 
Queen of Cups reversed. So the Queen of Cups reversed. That is shutting down emotionally. Not in love. It's sadness. It's heartbreak. It's disappointed. I think that you're feeling emotionally disappointed over some sort of... And this is manipulation. I think... And, and the devil in the moon is manipulation. There was manipulation here. This person was manipulating you. Probably with some sort of fantastical words. You know, it was all fantasy. You know? But I feel like you're seeing that this isn't love. Uh, something like that. We got the Nine of Cups and the High Priestess reversed. Choosing to be single. I think that you're choosing to be single. I think that you have plenty. You're very comfortable. I think that you are uh, choosing to, because this is a choice, you're choosing to. Uh, well, the, the high priestess reverse chooses to be a single, chooses to be alone, seeing the truth, secrets being revealed. This person's true colors are definitely being revealed. This person wanted what you could give them. They saw that you lived a very comfortable life. They saw you as wish fulfillment. They didn't know how intuitive you were. They they may have thought that you were weak. They may They may have. They may have even thought that you were emotionally unstable and that they could manipulate you. That's what they thought. But I think you are uh, seeing clearly who they really are. There's definitely secrets being revealed, truths being revealed about this person. With the Two of Swords reversed, the, the, her the High Priestess reversed, and the Devil reversed. This is secrets being revealed. In the moon here, somebody was hiding their true colors. And I believe that the true colors have been revealed. Okay? And now this person is angry and upset that you have decided to abandon them. You know? You've severed the ties or you're going to sever the ties or whatever. It's like they're really upset. They see themselves that they play the victim. They are the victim. They choose to be a victim. They're a victim of illusion. That's what they're a victim of. They're not very awakened. They're not very spiritual. And I think that you, you know, made the choice to finally step down from this. Okay, you made a, you probably made a big mistake with the Knight of Wands reverse. You moved too fast. You know, you wore your heart on your sleeve. And I think what happened, you know, you wanted to have this. You wanted to give. But then you realized that this person, all this person wanted was what you could give to them. I feel like this person was struggling financially. This is financial struggle. And they were very materialistic. You know, they wanted, they, they had some ulterior motive, okay? With the moon and the devil, they did. And this is coming out of denial and seeing the truth. So, I think that you were dealing with a very challenging in, uh, person. This person was very unhealthy. They had unhealthy behavior. And I think, I mean, if you think about this, this is the hermit in reverse. This is a rejection. I think that you, you may have rejected this person. This person is, is going through a midlife crisis. And they didn't want to be alone. They didn't want to be alone. Maybe they couldn't take care of themselves. So anyway, I think this person has been set free. I think that you have set this person free. And I don't think they're happy about it. This person is an illusionist, you know, likes illusion, six of cups, six of, why am I being, this Mercury retrograde, right? It's a bunch of retrogrades. This is six of pentacles. <laughs> Interesting. This person really was hoping for a reunion because you think about, I thought this was the star that's hoping and this, uh, this, the six of cups would be reunion. This person is hoping for a reunion with you. That's what they're thinking right now. They're thinking, oh, I'm going to sit back and I'm going to be quiet and I'm not going to say anything and I'm going to get a reun reunion later on with this person. That's what this person is thinking. That's why those words came out of my mouth. That's what they think. They think that if they wait that you'll change your mind, but I don't think you're going to change your mind. I feel like this is um, about equality. It's about equal give and take. It's about you know, both giving equally to a relationship.
we have the strength reversed. I feel like this person drained you. They drained you. They may, they may have made you feel weak. Uh, they may have seen that you were vulnerable, whoever this, but they may have seen your vulnerability. They saw you as weak. Did I not say that earlier? I believe that I did. Interesting. This person thought you were weak. They thought that they could take advantage of you. You obviously live very comfortably and they thought, you know, you're weak. I can I can swoop in. This person did not have good intentions. Anyway, I feel like you have made a decision. You have. I think that you have. I think that uh, you have decided to end it. I think this person overwhelmed you. One more card. You are severing ties with this person and this person is upset. They think that eventually you will reunite with them. Six of Cups reversed. Interesting. So this is freedom from obligation. This is being freed from obligation. This is packing up, leaving home, not going back. This person is is clinging. They are they are very 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 clingy. Um, so this is definitely uh, leaving. We have a ten of cups in reverse. So that is packing up. It could be have something to do with children. I don't know if this is a child or something leaving children behind or something like that. relationship problems this is a problems this is a dying dream so I feel like we have an individual here that um, was definitely being secretive with you with the high priestess reverse the two of swords reverse and the, and, the, and the moon and the devil this person was very secretive they had ulterior motives and I think that you saw it I think that you see it I think that something secret lies are going to be revealed if you haven't seen it yet you're about to this has to do with what they can give you, okay? It can't it has to do with equal reciprocation. This person is experiencing financial hard times and they're looking for what they can get, what you can give them. And I think that, you know, they're going to be rejected and I think that you're going to say no. That's what I see. So this week you are dealing with an individual who is looking for stability. This person is looking for financial stability. They're looking for it through you. I think that you need to be very careful. When you get the moon card, there's an unclear and difficult path ahead. All is definitely not as it seems. If you think about it now, we've got four pentacles here. This person's looking for stability. Okay, they're looking for money. Money, money, money. Materialistic, greedy, selfish. They're still probably in love with somebody from their past. And their past rejected them. And now it's all about stability. This person is very cold, okay? But they present themselves to be warm. I feel like you are going to see, if you haven't seen already, exactly who this person is. So there's going to be this exposure here with the Two of Swords Reverse. This is exposure. This person is going to be exposed for their who they truly are. It can't be hidden. So get prepared for that. If you haven't seen it yet, you're going to see it. Something is going to happen. Let's get one more card for over here. That death is an ending. It's a... It's a it's a, a transformation. It's a separation. You're separating. You're separating. And the separation does lead to a new beginning. It does. Queen of Wands reversed. Ending. An ending with another person. Now the Queen of Wands in reverse. Now this is your energy. You, uh feeling self-righteous, revengeful, wanting to be in control. I mean, the Queen of Wands is somebody that is weak. 
is weak. So this person saw your vulnerability. They did. They saw your weakness. They saw your lack of self-esteem and self-confidence. They did. Now this is the this is the page of wands. So this is a new suitor coming in. Endings lead to new beginnings. You have a new suitor coming in. You do. Be prepared. Be pre be prepared. You're going to have to have courage to even communicate with this person. I feel like uh You definitely need to get prepared to receive some sort of invite or offer from an individual that um, you may have dealt with before, later, previously, before this one. But I see your 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 lack of self esteem, okay? Your lack of of self worth, your lack of self confidence. You may you may you may feel like you're not good enough, okay? With the with the strength card reversed and the Queen of Wands reversed, so you need to you really need you need this transformation. You need this change. You need to change your perception of yourself so that you don't, don't draw in people that see your vulnerability. Be strong. I think that you, you don't believe in yourself. It's time for you to, you know, believe in yourself. You have a lot of abilities. But anyway, we got to change the story. We got to change this. We got to go. It's time to go. All right, it's time for this 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 story to end because you have a new story that is about to begin. You are about to see somebody's true colors if you haven't seen them already. Whoever you are dealing with is a liar, okay? They are with the two of swords reversed, the the high priest is reversed, the moon and the devil. Whoever you are dealing with is a liar. And they are after stability, not love. Good luck.